Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, I just want to give you a quick update on the car. Uh, for the people that are following this car, uh, the Siskers, they're different now. It says a long way all the way to the back. Uh, that little red tag right there from eBay it's very cool uh, the seats and everything I have the uh, steering wheel and the suede uh, headliner but what I really want to show you is how I've been like talking in the wires like hiring the wires there's a whole fuse box over here that sits on top of the battery and I already got rid of that one like there's a lot more cables you know that I was able to to actually you know like talking really good uh, the whole harness like that because I have an electrical problem like two months ago ah <sighs> That was a struggle right there because I ended up fixing like 20 sensors. Not 20 sensors. I ended up fixing two injectors, two coils. This one right here. That one right there. The one that sits on the map. The one that goes in the throttle body. Uh, the one for the knock sensor. The one for the... Uh, uh, for the crankshaft position sensor was bad the one for the oil pressure was bad uh, the uh, ground cable the purple ground cable coming from the uh, relay that goes right here that's 428 that's the uh, that's a power relay that controls the, the ECU that cable was completely almost fried so I ended up fixing it splicing wires Hopefully in the next video, you know, I'm going to show you how to do all that because uh, if you have an electrical problems, you don't know what's wrong with your car, then you are going to need to fix or at least check your wire harness. Uh, but this is a quick update because, oh, for people that know, I just did like a little design right here because I really wanted, you know, like just to put a cover. You have water, you know, like going uh, inside the, the coils, you know, and all inside the engine bay. So that fixed the problem because now water travels all the way down here. It just goes down. Uh, so there's no wires here. None on the back. And I'm doing it this way because I really don't want to... Uh, Put the wires inside and then not being able you know to to reach the the wires cables whatever it's not like a really easy task you know to do but you can accomplish it uh trunk still looks the same just the uh those side side skirts right there i love those side skirts It's not hard to put them, you just gotta learn how to put them. Have a little wind coming in the middle too. Those, uh, the diffusers right here, they're, uh, you can buy a set, they're for any car. Uh, look, it's just that right there. And then there's the other piece right there. That's the diffuser. Then it comes off the other end. Trunk. Trunk still look the same, but it's in the back. Well done. I still have my spare tire at the bottom. What I really gotta do next is gonna be seats. So one of my seats is actually like gone. So I'm thinking about putting two new seats. Sweet, probably. 
carbon fiber. That's a canar. I'm designing a canar there. If you couldn't see at the beginning, the other side doesn't have it. That won't have it. Carson Stage 3 Plus from Euro Tuning. And it's really pushing some power. Uh, the only problem that I have with the car right now is the uh, I don't have no two step. I don't know why. So, but I will find out, you know. So, no matter how I do, I just don't got two step. Probably on my, my clutch sensor spec, but the car runs really, really, really freaking good. Just the other day, I was having a cooling problem, and I have uh, I find out you know that in China they got the whole set of aluminum uh, flanges. For the MK4, because the one that connects to my heater core, I mean, you can just like using it like, just like bypass there. But it's cold right now and I needed a heater. So, that's pretty much how the car is looking. I hope you like it. And I hope you know, like, whatever that you see, you know, like, gives you a little, you know, idea. Um, how you want to do your car mine's been you know like two years i've been building this car and what i've been building is because actually i've been i've been changing everything in this car like everything so i gotta do more because i know i'm gonna do more i want this car to be perfect and a hundred percent you know efficient you know and and you know like ready to drive all the time so one of the things that I find out, you know, to actually have this car running all the time, you gotta replace all these flanges. And they're like nine of these flanges that you gotta replace. So it's one, it's two right there. There's another one by the thermostat down there. That make it three. Then there's four right there. That one right there. Then I had two coming for the the core, heater core, and I got two more coming for the uh, radiator. I don't know what I need to, but I uh, so far I haven't like really learned the cooling system in this car. But I will. I have the, the parts coming, and I'm gonna order some new hoses, performance silicone hoses, because that's that's one of the main things in this car. Like you want it to be, you know, like not to have any you know like water problems not the ones that you can fix and and that's something very simple i got nine pieces of those things i mean those i got in once for a hundred dollars it's only four now i got a set of nine for forty dollars so just do a little research you know on, on google and see who has the parts if you like the cars the cars you know like they can last long this this thing this this cars can last long but you just you gotta take care of them and if you upgrade them then that means you are pushing more power you know that what the parts are meant you know to hold so you actually you gotta upgrade everything if you have a passion for this just like you gotta understand that if whatever you do you know you just gotta upgrade stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and it's just the way it is so the the talking the wires is looking really good so that's pretty much it you know for this video i will keep you updated and i will try you know to make a video you know like showing the uh uh the way on how to fix the whole harness or how to check it how to splice it solder you know like anything uh pro i probably you know like work on this video this week and i'll share it with you next week so i'll see you on my next video